All right, so for the fun part. So make sure your hands are nice and clean. And we are going to take basically uh, a clump of butter in your hands. And you could put gloves on if you wanted. Uh, but what we're basically going to do is just rub that butter all over the chicken. Make sure your chicken's completely dry. Going to get underneath the legs, underneath the wings. And this is going to help your chicken brown up nice and good and actually add flavor to it as well. Um, the chicken is loose, the skin, and you can kind of feel that if you pull back on the breastbone a little bit. You can almost stick your fingers right underneath. So you can go ahead and do that with the butter as well. Since your hands are already rubbed in butter and you've got chicken juices all over your hand, just go ahead and rub that under the skin as far as you can get because it's only going to add flavor. Okay. Make sure you wash your hands after you're done because you do not want to touch something that you were touching chicken with and then touch something as simple as the salt and pepper shaker because now you're cross-contaminating um, and basically salmonella. So we're going to stop this so I can wash my hands and then we'll go to the next step. Alrighty, so now what you're going to do is salt and pepper over the whole chicken. And don't be afraid to generously apply the salt and pepper um, because you, it's only going to really get on the skin. Not a lot of it is going to get in the bird. So we have salt and pepper. And then what I also have is some uh, garlic powder. So we'll put that on there. You could also use some onion powder if you have it. And then lastly, what I'm going to use is Italian seasonings. Okay. And then I'm going to dirty my hands up one more time. I'm going to hold the bird up. And I'm actually going to salt the inside of the cavity. So I'm just going to hold it with my paper towel so I don't get inside. And we're going to get salt all inside that cavity. This will also help to flavor your chicken. So there we go. We are all set. We're going to stick this in the oven now. Um, and we're just going to cook until the internal temperature reads 165. And when you take a thermometer reading, if you have a thermometer at home, you want to stick it into the darkest meat, um, the fattiest meat. So you don't want to stick it up here because, you know, there's only about an inch of meat. So you almost want to stick it behind the leg into the breast right there. So you want to take two different temperatures. So one going in towards the thigh and then one in towards the breast, kind of down towards the bottom. That's going to be where your thickest meat is. So um, we are letting our giblets kind of cook away with water here. And we're going to start peeling our potatoes because we're going to do some mashed potatoes so we have some fresh gravy. And then we'll figure out what we're going to do for a vegetable.